Hello everyone. I know it's been a while since I did one of these reviews, but since the last one, I've been involved in the important research for the show. Oh jeez, how many are there? Uh, stop shooting! Stop shooting at me! The program's a game where the basic enemies know how to aim at you. Oh, there's a carrier too. Okay, that's not the point. Point is. I'm going to do a new one, and it's going to be more regular from now on. And for my big comeback, I need a big figure. One so evil that its very presence brings about an apocalyptic nature. It could even be possessed. Stop it! Let's take a look at this one, shall we? So here we have the abomination himself. Smokescreen was part of the second wave of Armada Deluxes, and being an Autobot of that line was required by law to come in an annoyingly bright color. There's some stripe deco here on the side to help break it up. I assume that's supposed to be caution stripes, but they're blue. I've never seen caution stripes in blue. Then again, I never saw a crane that didn't need more than one cockpit either. On the back, we've got his... Hang on. Just some toys you can't be too careful with. And with something like smoke screen, you need as much protection as you can possibly get. So on the back, he's got his first gimmick, a tow cable. You can click the switch here on the su so it will actually roll and retract as he rolls forward which you know, it works okay. He's also got a minicon pegs molded into the hook. Wait a second. Why would I even need to tow around a minicon? I mean, this is a transformer. They're small, like hand size. I mean, you can run with one like a football. I mean, you can throw it as far as you could tow it anywhere. There's supposed to be really tiny and they're supposed to be lightweight. If I need a tow cable for something, then it's going to be something really heavy. You know, like a car. You know, let me tow around Hotshot or Blur or Wheeljack for a while. They might need a tow job. Not a minicon. I can punt kick a minicon as far as I can tow it. I guess I should go ahead and get his redeeming quality out of the way. Smokescreen's one of those toys that revolves around his minicon gimmick. You plug his minicon into the top of the crane, press it forward, and... Wow! You know, it's not often I'm jealous of a toy, but that is a really big cannon! If it intimidates you too much, it does retract back, which is a good thing, as you'll see later on. That's about as interesting as his vehicle mode. Oh? Wait a minute. Is that what I think it is? Yes, it's an undocumented feature! I love those! It looks like this little hatch here opens up. Oh, I can't wait to see what's inside the sh- Good! Oh, what the hell! Under the hatch is what looks like a gear molded in. But it's not painted, and it sure as hell doesn't do anything. I mean, if it's hard to see in the first place, why do we even include it? Whatever. Bottom line, it's just a really bad vehicle mode. Now this is usually the part where I fast forward through the transformation, but for such a simple toy, it seems like a waste of my time on YouTube. So instead we're going to do it the old fashioned way and go... And now he's in robot mode! In this mode, smoke... Wait, hang on, hang on a second. In this mode, smoke screen's main ability... In this mode, smoke screen... <laughs> You know, it happens to far too many veteran Autobots that just can't say no to the high-octane Energon. Yeah, I wish I was exaggerating it, but this is how hard it is to get him to stand up. And even when he is, he has to slump forward. It's all because of this stupid crane being so heavy. And you'd think you could adjust it to maybe balance it out, but no. His stupid head has to move along with the crane. This is not a good form of Automorph. The toy himself, it's just as rotten. I mean, look at it. You got no waist articulation. His knee, 
for some reason, his hip articulations over his knees, oh, his non-existent knees, I should say, his shoulders are okay, but then you get to his elbow, and that's as far as they can move. He's got that stupid fist molded in thing, too. I hate when they do that. You can never see the fist unless you've got him out trying to hug everybody. The gimmick still works in this mode, but the... Cr Come on, this hook is even more useless now. What am I supposed to do with it? I'm not going to be towing anybody in this mode. He's not Scorpion. I can't throw the hook at somebody and haul him over. Even his official images can't save this thing. I, I mean, take a look at this one. His waist isn't even connected. His torso is just kind of floating over his legs. And his minicon doesn't even want you to see his face. He's that embarrassed. Oh, and before you ask, the answer is no. I haven't found a way of getting him to stand up with the blaster all the way out. So that's about the gist of Armada Smoke Screen. Really, really badly designed, low articulation, and annoying colors. Yeah, it's no wonder this thing sat on toy shelves almost until Energon was released. Even kids weren't dumb enough to buy this thing. But luckily, he's one of those toys that actually has an upside to him. Uh, at this point, anything might seem like an upside, though. Meet Lipdor, the plucky little mini-con we just saw a moment ago. Now, I admit his Vyokamo is rather alien. You've got the forks in the front, so you can tell he's a forklift of some kind. With seats all the way back here, and they didn't even paint the windows in. So it's a little hard to tell what he is. It's not the point here, though. You've actually got a little mini-con forklift whose forks do raise up. Granted, it's at the cost of his front wheels, but it's still something they worked in intentionally. Luckily, he makes up for it in transformation, which is just about as complex as smoke screens. Arms out, legs out, part legs, little hooks off to side, thing down back. And here we have a superior mini-con. This is arguably one of the best ones they came out with. I mean, he's got shoulder articulation, elbows, both legs, hips, and knees. And weirdest of all, his head has articulation. They actually worked in a neck. And the cool thing, though I doubt you can see it on the video, his face actually looks like Optimus Prime. Uh, Optimus Prime if he got captured by the board, but still Optimus Prime. So for ten bucks, yeah, it's probably a little overcharged. But you know what? It's well worth it for one of the best minicons they made in Armada. Oh, and you get this one for free, too. Unfortunately, there's so much that could have been done with this, but that's what happens when you focus so much into one gimmick. I don't care how good it is, it's not worth the rest of the figure. Now, the only way to rectify something like this is to permanently dispose of it in a beneficial way. And we all know the only way to do that. So I'm going to go return Brawl here and get my money back. Correct a mistake I made six years ago buying this thing. That's going to be it for this review. I'll see you next time. Until then, I'll stay addicted so you can stay away.